today I'm going to teach you how to make Indian uh, shark. It's um, a vegetable dish that you can use different vegetables for. I'm going to use today, I've cut up three small potatoes and about a half a cauliflower in here. So that's what I'm going to use. You can use vegetables of your choice um, and do the same uh, process to make Indian shark. So in a pan, I'm going to put about two tablespoons of oil. This is like a basic way of making Indian shark. So you can use this with a lot of different different uh, vegetables of your choice. And then when the oil is hot, you want to put in it mustard seeds, about a teaspoon. And then you're going to let these sit until they start to fade. And uh, we are actually on vacation right now. Um, so I don't have everything I would have at home. So I make do with whatever I have um, to use for at the time. I try to carry with me stuff though. Like you can see I have all the Indian spices and... Uh, and stuff. Okay, so you can hear it's starting to pop. You want it to pop. You don't want to throw in the cumin until after this is popped. And then you put in the cumin. And then we're going to put in turmeric. And you throw in the vegetables. Just mix it. You want to put this on medium heat to cook. I'm also going to add in here. The kids are going to eat this, so I'm going to put very little chili powder. You can put more if you want and make it as spicy as you like. I'm just going to put a little bit. I like to give it a little bit of flavor. And then I'm going to put in here garam masala and about a half a teaspoon of garam masala. It gives a really nice flavor this I don't have cumin coriander that's another thing you want to put in here if you have it cumin coriander also goes in this so this is dry I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water um, so this is thick at the bottom I'm also going to make this uh, with sauce if you cook it without sauce, you're able to eat it that way as well. And when it's done, I'll show you uh, how that would look when it's fully cooked. And, if, and then I plan to do it with sauce because we're going to have it with uh, rice. This is what I'm going to use. Now this is actually pasta sauce. And I use pasta sauce a lot for my cooking because it is very quick. Um, it's already cooked. It has a bunch of stuff in it like basil onions and stuff like that so this is the reason i use this it's like my go-to for quick recipes so if you are someone who doesn't have a lot of time then this is something you can use for um adding to uh, dishes like vegetables um, or dals um, lentils beans and i'll show you that in my other recipes how i use it for beans as well so this is what i'm going to use once it is cooked fully cooked I'm going to throw these some of this in there and I'm going to make it a saucy um, chock of potato and cauliflower so this is uh, almost done now you have, you want to make sure that the potatoes cut easily I just put in the salt I should put it in, put it in earlier but I forgot but that's okay, you can do it right when you put the rest of the uh, spices. Now you can eat it like this if you wanted to. Um, but today we're going to use sauce, so I'm going to throw in a little bit of pasta sauce. You can see it's 
really good with the sauce in it. And I've used about, I've used about like a little less than half the jar of sauce. Now I'm gonna let it cook for a few more minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. You wanna make sure the potatoes cut easily. Okay, so we're gonna let all the spices and everything get really mixed in there. I'll cook it for a few more minutes. And then our shop will be ready. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test.